Um, so yeah, my friend Switz actually um, oh. asked me a question a week ago <laughs> about um, <laughs> why I run hackathons, <laughs> among other things. Um, and yeah, I guess, I guess Mr. Anthony Marco's here, uh, Andre's here. For the last nine months, we've been running these hackathons, and we try to bring incredible people. So for example, we got Robin from the original German Stable Fusion, the real Stable Fusion. The hackathons, right? And there's something beautiful about hackathons. So um, first of all, it's permission. Uh, all of us have jobs, but today we're allowed to do whatever we want. It's unbounded creativity. We can come up with a project and ship it by the end of the night, and we don't have to care whether or not our employer you know approves or disapproves. And we work with people who are not necessarily our company, but who might just be friends that we like. And uh, this is actually how I think work should be done. But crazily, this is not the norm. Um, if I'm honest, the hackathon style of working, where you have an intense six or seven hour burst of productive energy, and you know you code some new chain into existence, and you launch it on a website, and suddenly you feel uh, the potency of being you know a software developer who can uh, transform. Uh, an idea into reality in moments. Uh, it's, it's a kind of state of mind where it feels like your thoughts and your creative ideas are so close to becoming someone else's lived experience. Um, there's a kind of power that's special about the hackathon that you don't get in the sort of standard launch process at Google. Um, yeah, I guess there's a um, body of collective creativity. So you're currently in a room, uh, you know, with 30 people right now with you know, 150 people. Um, all of you could come up with an idea, seize a few team members, and build a new body of friendships. And those friendships can turn into projects that either become companies or are transformative in some other way. And typically, you know, in an org job, you're trapped with the exact same team, do work with the same people, working on the same things all the time. And all of the learnings from people's software development styles are um, not available to you. Um, and so, I guess finally, there's a sense that. Um, when you're working, you should try to align what you're doing as much as you can with uh, the way that you enjoy things emotionally. And I think the hackathon aesthetic is actually much more emotionally available and aligned with the spirit of how people left the program, where they just go into you know, a cave for three days straight and emerge with some glorious project that they just imagined um, than the typical sort of nine to nine. And so, um, in part, it's an expression of an idea. Um, so, yeah, I guess with all of that in mind, um, do try to engage with this hackathon and the hackathon ethos and spirit of becoming quick friends with your collaborators and bursting some incredible product into existence. The one requirement for being in this room is that you are going to ship by the end of the night. So produce code and produce code that everyone can be inspired by and that you can present and be proud of. And, and you know, in this sort of single moment, uh, we will collectively be able to burst possibly 50, maybe 60 new agent projects into existence. And they don't all have to become companies, but the reality is that, you know, on Twitter on any given day, maybe you see two or three projects that you're inspired by. It's plausible that in a single day, this community can produce a month's worth of inspiration through a, you know, a hectic seven hour uh, experience of a hackathon. And that the mates that you make over the course of this can be friends and you'll do projects together for a long, long time. Um, and then I guess finally a comment on agents. So basically, um, why the agent hackathon? It's uh, kind of become clear that there's tremendous potential in the use of large language models for control to a point where you can imagine the modern corporation being replaced by a hive of interacting agents, all of whom have access to every aspect of the company's processes and existence. And where the humans are merely managing the body of agents and filling in the gaps with human labor where necessary. Uh, but those gaps will continually shrink as entrepreneurial hackers like you come up with new ways in order to uh, basically like plug in automation. And so, um, yeah, on some level, I feel like we finally entered the you know, true general paradigm, the AGI paradigm, where we were working on narrow models, on language models, on image models. Uh, but now, with tools, it feels like every practical part of the economy that is attached to knowledge work uh, can be executed on by an AI agent. And so everyone who's had the AGI dream uh, feels like the agentic AI paradigm is likely to fulfill. Um, so with that, uh, good luck on fulfilling the dreams of generation and uh, experiencing your fellow hackers in an amazing way. Thank you.